rising like a very modern phoenix from the ashes of the war years, London's Chelsea Arts Ball has once again ushered in the new year. Not since 1938 has this famous revel been held, and as of old, it was staged in the Royal Albert Hall. Vast numbers of dancers, clad in the most ingenious variety of fancy dress, enjoyed themselves comparatively sedately, so long as it was still 1946. Officially, the theme of the ball was Renaissance, but of course it was a double celebration, the ending of one of the grimmest periods in history, coupled with the hopes and aspirations for the new year. As I said, until midnight it was fairly sedate. Enter 1947, and it definitely became a wild revel. The balloon barrage, which was released at five past twelve, seemed to act as inspiration. Wine flowed freely, and of course, that's a bit of a help to inspiration. Then the many floats, special jobs created for the occasion by art school students, went on parade. with all the various kinds of inspiration available, it naturally wasn't long before the revel turned into a friendly sort of rough house. For it's a tradition of the Chelsea Arts Ball that these particular works of art should be wiped out there and then. And so, while the rest of Britain were equally glad to see the last of 1946, this is how, at the first Chelsea Arts Ball since before the war, they saw the New Year in at the Albert Hall. <laughs> 